When I first started fitting drawers, it all seemed like a mystery how to fit the drawer box square, how to fit the frontage to it with the right gaps, um, without drilling through the face and stuff like that where you don't want to. So we figured it out now, so I thought I'd show you how we do it, and I hope it'll be helpful to you. For most of our work, we use these Blum Movento runners. They're, they're under mount, so they're concealed when the drawer box goes on top, and they've got soft clothes, they've got really nice action to them. So the way you fit these on, once you've got your clips on, you bring your runners to full extension, offer it on, you can just get, there's a prong at the back there that will go into some holes that is pre-drilled, and then the great thing is you just give it a good shove, and that engages the clips at the front, so that's on as it should be. To get it off, you reach underneath, and I'll just come under and show the clip, you reach under and there's a little thing you push there, Quite easy, both sides. Put that and it disengages, and you can get your draw box off. The front fixing clips have adjustment built in. That's one of the things we like about these runners. This little squeeze thing here, you pinch that, it moves up and down a, an angled rack, which you can just see there, and that will move your draw box up and down. So you can even twist it a bit by adjusting each one. And then the roller gives you side to side movement. And what you want to do is get the draw box positioned centrally before fitting your frontage. Yeah, so we'll get our frontage, we'll choose a packer, usually about three millimeters, and then we can just push that up to where it needs to be. And to be honest, I'll sometimes just eye, eye that gap in, if that looks right. And then what I'll do, just as I've done here, is drive these Craig screws through. I don't know if you can see that. We love these screws, pocket hole screws. They're self-tapping and they've got a square drive. I really should have set this up better. But uh, we like the square, the square drive, it holds in the head well, and we like the speed at which it self-taps. So what we've done is we've pre-drilled with a 4.5 millimeter drill for our handle holes, which are four millimeter um, threaded screws. And the 4.5 just gives it a little bit of play if you're not too precise. So we use that to screw, to screw that tight into the draw box. So we'll do both those screws. And then if that shifts as it has, it's dropped, we can go back to our adjustment on here. And I can go to this little pinch thing, tweak it up and bring my gap back up to where it should be. I'll do the same there. I can then do some sideways adjustment. I can get that fixed with these two screws. And the next step is, we would go around the back, so just have a little look at the back of that. Then again with these nice quick self-driving Craig screws, we'll secure it from the back so that these are now redundant. And we can then use these holes to screw right through the draw box and then put our handle on. Now, You've got a couple of options. When you've got this doubled up thickness, you can either use a, a long screw, um, and we're talking these types of screws now. They've got a sort of machine thread. That's pretty standard for, uh, for handles. So you can use a long screw or you can recess, and we've opted for recessing a more standard length screw, which we've done with the, here we go, the Craig bit. So again, I just find Craig drills and screws have a lot of uses. So I've taken the collar further up so that the the recess, have you, have you got a shot of that? The recess just allows, a, I think it was a 30 millimeter screw to catch into the handle. And then you're all done. So that's, that's how we fit drawboxes.